Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living. I have a question for you. When's the last time your kid played with Tonka trucks in the dirt? <coughs> When's the last time your kid played in a stack of hay or hay bales and made a fort? When's the last time you had your kid help you butcher a uh, chicken? <laughs> so, uh, when's the last time you seen your kids play in the yard with a old pipe or uh, made forts or climbed trees? When's the last time you've seen your kids uh, help milk a cow? So when's the last time you seen your kids work so hard that they were just dragging? And then you told them you were proud of them what they did. Well that's what uh, country living and homesteading can do for your kids. Will they still play video games and stuff? Sure. Not as much. You can limit it. I uh, highly recommend you watch Justin Rhodes. He's got a homesteading channel, <clears throat> and uh, he's got four kids, one on the way, and uh, <clears throat> if you don't watch his show too closely, but just watch the kids in the background, and you'll see that they, they struggle to get going, and they struggle to get some work done, and they struggle to be motivated, but just think of the opportunities you'll have to work with your kids, to compliment your kids, and tell your kids how proud of them when they achieve something. So all those things will really impact your kids in the future. All those things will impact how they do in school. All those things you do with them and all those reality things that they learn will create a great adult. They will not go through life wondering where things come from. They not they will not go through life without realizing hard work pays off in big big ways. <clears throat> and then the bright side is if you're starting a country living or a homestead and you have children, make them part of the growth. And then, the other thing is, a lot of people take their homesteads and they want them to be passed on to their kids one way or another. But when they have participated their early lives in helping with the homestead, and then they go off on their own, maybe they'll even have their own family and careers um, during their 20s, 30s, and 40s, but then come back to the lifestyle of the homestead. They'll have so many memories, things that they look at that they help build, things that they help paint, um, barns and utility houses that they participated in. When's the last time you taught your kid how to mow the lawn? When's the last time you had your kid use a weed eater? When was the last time you taught your child how to use a chainsaw for the first time? Or drive a tractor? When's the last time they maybe operated a four-wheeler and moved things around in the property? All these things seem so odd to today's kids. All these things seem so unsafe to today's kids. Yet all of us, you know the baby boomers, we all live through it. <laughs> We're still here. So uh, children in country living or homesteading are a great mix. And if you can even do homeschooling, you will have the most well-rounded children knowing work principles. And if you homeschool them, you could actually teach them real American history. 
of what our country is all about and being patriotic. Maybe even start your school day at the house with the Pledge of Allegiance. And let them know what the pride of being an American is. Believe it or not, that stuff will make a difference in the future. Because the way we're going right now is not sustainable. And there's going to be adults out there in the future that need to know all this stuff. They need to know how to butcher pigs and milk cows and kill a chicken or get eggs or build a structure. They got to learn what God's all about. They need to know the beautiful the beauty of just nature and how they all relate to one another. So do homesteads and country living mix with children and families? Hell yeah, <laughs> big time. So if you're hesitant about going out in the out in the uh, country, maybe you're worried about the schools aren't as good as the ones in the city. Uh, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Maybe you're worried about medical and things like that. Understandable. But you, if you keep going through the world wondering if we moved out to the country, what if I got my kids out of the city? What if I even considered homeschooling? Do you want to go through life with all those what ifs? Imagine what it'd be like to have your kids participating and taking care of the animals having chores and let them earn some money. I'm not talking, telling them they have to work for free, but I understand that that's how they make money. Nothing's given to them. Give them their free time to play, get dirty, build forts, play with the animals. And then you sit down with them and talk. Talk about anything. But talk and relate to one another and let them make mistakes but the most most important thing you can do with your children is as they're learning these things tell them you're proud of them that will go a long long ways so guys if you're wondering if your kids would do good on a homestead, hell yeah. Gotta be better in the city. Do you want your kids to be more Americana? Do you want them to know the fundamentals of life? This is a life for them. Is it easy? No. In fact, it'll be even harder with kids. But it's a must do. So guys, thank you for listening. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Talk to you later. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.